What is going on guys? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. Today is the day we hook up these solar panels. I'm sick of them being in the sun completely and just wasting all that energy when I could have this hooked up inside to uh, be able to run some stuff. At least get them hooked up to the breaker box that should be inside here so I can at least liven up the lines that we ran in one of the previous videos. If you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. But I actually dug a small trench all the way over. I got these into the basement of my house so we could power up the second 6,000 XP that we're gonna be uh, putting in parallel with the main unit. So I got the second run still attached to these rolls. I didn't wanna cut it off um, until I actually landed these ones in the breaker box. So we have a surge protected breaker box that we're going to be hooking up right here on the wall. It is this guy. So it's gonna go right here with a couple two by sixes and we're gonna get the wires ran from the panels up on the roof down here and hooked up into this guy. So this is gonna control the power going out, obviously to the basement and uh, just a emergency shutoff, right? And then obviously, like I said, this is surge protected. So it's good to have your panels surge protected. And then I gotta uh, ground it and we'll be good to go. So anyways, let me get all set up. Let's get this ladder set up so I can get on the roof and we can start running the wires. And uh, yeah, I'll get this thing mounted right there on the wall in the meantime. So just before we do that, let's hear a quick word from today's video sponsor. Crypto Miner Bros is the ultimate destination for all of your crypto mining needs. Founded in 2018, this company specializes in top quality ASIC miners from brands like Bitmain, Goldshell, and many others. Whether you're a newbie or a pro, they offer competitive prices, fast shipping, and easy payment options worldwide. Pay with bank transfer, Bitcoin, or even other cryptocurrencies, no cash needed. The prices you see on their website include taxes, shipping, and DDP to your door, so there are no surprises at checkout. Join tens of thousands of satisfied customers who trust Crypto Miner Bros for their hardware fulfillment, transparent prices, and world-class service. Check out CryptoMinerBros.com, link down below. All right, we're all set up, got the ladder situated. I got everything I think I need to be able to complete the hookup on these panels today. So I got all these uh, ends over here. I just have like a random box of electrical stuff for all the solar. Uh, we have some male and female ends in here, positive and negative. And then I have the two side boots that I'm gonna be putting actually on the side of the shed. Now, I was going to originally put these on the roof, but I guess code compliance is off to the side so it kind of goes over the edge of the roof and in through the side of the house so these are going to be sitting like this and the wires are going to loop down and go up into them um, that's going to be the plan anyway so i'll show you guys that when we get there obviously i'm not going to be able to video that but i will show it once it's all installed so that is uh where those are going to go basically back side of the shed there up high i mounted the breaker box here so it's perfect height to be able to get at it and you know in case of an emergency you can shut it off all i have to do is run the wires obviously from the negative and positive down through the bottom here the bottom plates to connect to the lines that we ran that go over to the house so i'll be connecting those soon and then we'll be running the uh, lines coming into the unit right into these and then i have to run a ground from the basically twinning it into where this one ties into or this one doesn't really matter. And we run that through this middle port here and that'll be chasing down as well. And I'll have to put a ground rod outside that I do not have at this current moment, but I will get one and we'll get that all situated and good to go. So that's that. Um, yeah, I think we're in really good shape. So what I want to do now, actually, I want to show you guys what we got to do. Let's just get up on the roof quick and we will... Uh, go over how this is all wired, as long as I don't fall off this ladder because it's rickety as shit. All right, so the way I hooked these panels up are a little different than the way I did the uh, pergola over there, right? So the pergola, I actually have four panels or eight panels, right, in a square, basically. So four on top, four on bottom. I have those all wired together over at the pergola. This style setup, I actually did a entire string of eight panels on the bottom and then the entire string of eight panels on the top wired that way because when the sun comes up it goes over these trees it's actually shading the back half of the shed a little bit longer than it does the front half so i wanted to make sure the front half was able to receive the most sunlight earlier in the day if that makes sense so we have a positive or a negative over on this side you can actually see one it's kind of terrifying not gonna lie see one right here Okay, we got this guy we got to hook up to. I got to run a wire all the way through the bottom there, all the way onto the other side. 
So those are both gonna get hooked up over the shed, both runs, you know, positive and negative from this section, positive and negative from this section, and we'll uh, get it all situated, and then we'll be able to do everything else, you know, ground level, which would be nice. So it shouldn't be too bad overall. Now I do have these two uh, rolls that were left over from the pergola. There's a bit on them, so I'll have plenty to be able to run, obviously connecting the wires the way I told you guys underneath the panel and over the corner of the shed and we should be good there. So let me get all that situated. It's gonna be real hard to record up there. I mean, it's gonna be terrifying on the edge of the roof there. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna record it. So I'll just show you guys when it's all done. We'll go over exactly what I did. Everything should be hooked up to here by the time you see me next. Let's do it. And we're back. Now this is the next day. It's actually been raining all this morning. It actually snowed early this morning, which is crazy. But as you guys could see, we are not hooked up yet. Now. The issue I ran into was these uh, end connectors that I was showing you guys I had. These guys right here, right? This nut barely goes over this wire. This is eight gauge wire. So I'm assuming these solar connectors are actually the wrong size. So I ordered the proper ones that are good for, uh, you know, X amount of voltage and amperage that are basically enough to cover the amount of uh, solar panels I have up there so everything will be nice and safe running through this breaker box. So unfortunately those aren't going to come for a couple days so I'm kind of stuck dead in the water until then. But either way I got a string of wires here. This is uh, going to the top row of panels. I labeled those number one and then I have the other ones cut a bit shorter. That is going to be going to the bottom row of panels and right here which is going to be labeled number two. Um, so that is that. We're looking pretty good. Let me show you guys around back real quick. All right, so up here, as you guys can see, just climb this ladder real quick. We ended up basically just putting the wires like this for now until I figure out a better method. I'm probably gonna zip tie these and make them look all nice, but I have them uh, just through those uh, connections there where basically they're weather tight and nothing will, like bugs won't get in there and obviously water won't get in there either. I still do need to do the siding on this uh, entire shed, so this is fine for now. Again, it's just temporary, and then I just ran all the lines. Let's see if I can get up. Man, these trees are soaked this morning, and I just kind of stuck them here for now, right? They're just kind of running. The lines that are going down there are running all the way down underneath this right here, and then, yeah. Everything on this side is just going right down there. You can see the red one poking out there. So yeah, that'll do for now. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's super unfortunate that I can't, or I don't have the parts to uh, hook everything up, which it really does suck, but it is what it is. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it at this point. All I can do is hurry up and wait. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait and we're gonna get everything connected in another video. Um, what I'm going to do now though, is I do need to get these lines still um, through the bottom of the shed. So these ones again are, the first run of lines that's going to go into the uh, lines that are labeled number one. As you guys know, I already showed you the long ones right here. And then that is the second line that is going to be going to number two, which is going to be on the right side. Um, and yeah, I just need to get those through the bottom here. So let's drill a quick hole and get this all situated and up through the floor. All right, so that wasn't super fun, but it's done. Everything's up here, nice. Got it all ran through the ground. I actually put a 90 in the ground and I laid down and I clipped the wires to the uh, inside of the main outside beam here, right? So it runs all the way down over to where that is. Now, when they come through here, I'm actually gonna end up clipping them to the side as they run up, but I'm gonna uh, obviously connect everything. I gotta run the ground wire from here down through there. And I actually still need to run a ground wire up to the roof as well to ground the panels. And that's gonna be passing through this box going down through the ground also. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm stoked, at least uh, we're this far. At least we can get, you know, just the connections will be pretty simple to do. And then uh, we'll be done with that. But um, real quick, I wanted to show you guys these pins. So if you guys don't have the proper solar connections, you could cause a fire or uh, a choke point, right, at your actual disconnect box so these are eight gauge wires and these right here these pins as you can see are solid i believe this is aluminum if i'm not mistaken to uh obviously pass the electricity through the end of the solar connections these guys right here 
all right? They actually make a few different styles. When you have a lower wattage, uh, lower amperage, you know, setup, they have these guys, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's freaking hollow. So that's where I ran into an issue with the other uh, solar connections, the male and female, right? Again, these are the same pins. I'm sorry, I'm trying to like straighten these out so you guys could see them together. One is completely solid, and the other one is hollow. So yeah, it's gonna create a choke point and it's gonna get stupid hot. And I had these guys set up on those uh, male and female connections. This is another reason I can't use them. But yeah, regardless of uh, it being too tight, the pins were just not correct. I mean, I could pop out the pins and put the correct ones in, but I would rather just purchase the correct ones and know that I'm safe and nothing's going to happen. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait for those to come in. Guys, listen, I appreciate you hanging out for me. Next video, we're going to connect these things and uh, we're going to get all situated so we can get this thing up and running inside the basement and get some more crypto on. You guys have a good day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.